Episode 2, The Beginning. In the first Prelude episode, we met the early Hominidae primates. Now we move forward to Homo ergaster and Homo erectus around 2 million years back in time. They were both about the same size as nowadays humans, around 180 centimeters or 5.9 feet tall, but they were considerably stronger and more muscular. In general, it is said that Ergaster is in Africa, while Erectus is the species that immigrates out of Africa to Asia, the Middle East, and Europe. What is interesting, however, is that these species have learned to master fire and construct tools, allowing them to cook hot food, build huts, and hunt effectively. Cooked food gives the body much more energy to absorb nutrition, which has strengthened their cognitive abilities and grown their brains. Little by little, over periods of hundreds of thousands of years, they became masters of survival, superior to all other species at that time. This also means that they were adaptable to other environments. While Ergaster remained in eastern and southern Africa, Erectus migrated out of Africa about 1.8 million years ago. As they moved to Asia, the Middle East and Southern Europe over thousands of years, they evolved and adapted to the new environments and new subspecies emerge. Among these new subspecies can be mentioned Homo georgicus, found in Georgia, Caucasus region, and Homo anecessor found in Spain, while more followed later. In general, these species constantly changed according to their environmental adaptations, in accordance with the way evolution works. Not from year to year, but over thousands of years. Keep in mind that this evolution takes place over a time period of about 1 million years. We now fast forward to around 600,000 years ago. Erectus and subspecies are still present, but a new species has also appeared, namely Homo heidelbergensis. Heidelbergensis have been found in both Europe, Africa, and Asia, and are possibly an ancestor of Neanderthals and Denisovans and others. We don't know for sure how all these missing links are connected, but many of the species have lived at the same time and have probably mated with each other, whereby mixtures have arisen and developed, and then died out again. Our findings are just small pieces in a huge puzzle spanning hundreds of thousands of years. Scientists in the field often disagree with the classifications, so we will refrain from going further into that here. And with that, we end the beginning in this episode. In the next episode, we move forward towards Neanderthals and more. Click next video to watch episode 3, Advancement.